just for the cleaning points, but we'll see what we can do. Close the news. Okay, let's jump into the Doom and let's full assault. Awesome. Over here we go. For battle and glory. And hopefully not getting killed. Because that tends to happen. Hello, equivalent of Asunder, how are you? My goodness, you had so much blood. Okay, let's get away from those. Of course, there's a trucking missile, so they're just gonna come back and. Alright, let's go kill this guy. Oh no, you poor fool! Very nice. Oh no, you don't. Stop running. Stop running and die like a hiver. Don't fly into it, please. Nice. Oh no, afflicty! Let's see, there's two ships over here fighting one of ours. Let's go deal with that, shall we? <laughs> nice. Hello, friend. Ooh. Are you made of paper? Kill that bomber heavy fighter, I'm assuming, with uh, these, I guess. Nice. Alright. Where were we? <clears throat> Where are they? One dude over there. This battle is pretty much over. They aren't running for their lives yet, though. Fools. But I'm gonna head over. Here. Oh, there's there's a lot going over there. Um, yeah, there's there's not a whole lot left. So let's get the left tap, and then let's. Okay, I guess that was the game doing a big reset on everything. <clears throat> oh my goodness, that thing is just getting annihilated. Down you go. Nice. Is that all? Yeah, I think so. Let's go send in their other ships. All right, ship recovery. Get our stuff back. Okay, cool. We just got tons and tons of money out of that. Now we can go kill this guy who's causing us problems in Dozak. Nice. 
All right, let's go. Are you an interdictor? You are an interdictor. Okay, let's interdict this thing. Go away. Ah, we have money. That's good, we need money. So, our colony that we directly control ourselves. What is your story? We can make this a high command for a pittance. And we eventually want to make this a, a uh, star fortress. Everything should be fine after that. Right at you, Doc. We are coming in. And the pirates there are gonna die. So let's see. I'm not even discovered the have not yet discovered the exact location. They tend to build stuff around points of interest. <clears throat> so it's either around one of the planets. Man, it doesn't look like it's here, or yeah, it's around a row Mazda or whatever it is. Alright then. How are our ships doing? Very quickly fine. Let's go in and kill this thing then. First off, hello guys. How's it going? I would like to hire your Marines. Fantastic. I'll also take your whatever's cheap. I can take your fuel. Crew's kind of expensive. We're gonna get a lot of stuff from you anyway. Let's learn the let's learn those. Now with our, you know. <clears throat> now with our small number of Marines. What could we get? What could we disrupt? That wouldn't have any major impact. So we'll just go for getting stuff. Um, <clears throat> let's see, quantity, 60. Ah, that could work. Get a lot of food, take that back to our colonies. Or we can get a decent amount of fuel. Decent number of supplies. I think fuel is going to be the biggest problem. We'll take that. Special functions? No. Nah. Colony info, military options, let's attack the station. <clears throat> of course, we're going to send this in with four ships to go take care of everything. Let's full assault everyone. Now, we are, in an, we are in an iron storm, so we are going to degrade faster. Our peak time is shorter kind of a problem, but you know, it'll be fine. What will the, the whole thing with this kind of setup? Oh no! Get out of there! Nope! Kill. And uh, kill more.
We'll just avoid those. Nice. We're gone. Let's kill those bombers, shall we? Damaging my ship scares me. Well, disabling my weapons kind of scares me. But, um... <laughs> you guys are so screwed up right now. That we're okay. Okay, let's do this. He's got lots of ion beams. Which is really great for him. But he's not particularly dangerous. Especially when there's tons of reapers all around. Awesome. Way kill them. Anything left? No, no one's moving, so no one's, nothing's left. Ship recovery. We didn't lose anything. That's good. Let's take everything. Let's throw away some of the metals, I guess. <clears throat> Let's scavenge real quick. We don't want their mule. We will take those and immediately leave. All right. Let's head back home. Head to his Brazil. Been doing just some hunting now. But let's head home. So it takes a little over 50 months for us to get this to size 6 now. Well, it'll take around 25 months. So two years. It's closer to three than it is two. But we'll get there. Yeah, it'll take about 20 months. A little, little under 20 months. Let's head back to Ogma and drop stuff off. Okay, so we're going to stabilize this entire system to the point that we are basically just the most dangerous thing in the system before we continue the Glacier questline. If we don't, then there's a point in the Glacier questline where, in essence, Tritachion decides they don't like you anymore, and they will come after you. So your faction with them becomes hostile, I believe. And, uh, well, we don't want that to happen while we are uh, in, while we have stuff in this system that is uh, somewhat unsecured. Tiger wants those for a nice amount. Salamanca wants those. Sounds great. Okay, so Tibicina wants these for a nice price. So does Umbra. So we'll take 800 of these. Umbra and Tibicina both want these for a nice little profit, double the profit. So we will take 1,200 of those. Then we'll take 150 just for ourselves. We need crew, so we will take our crew. We need, say, six, seven hundred people. We'll take seven hundred. <clears throat> we'll take all the fuel, of course. And the rest will be with supplies, which Umbra desperately needs. Fantastic. Okay, so with these guys, there's something really nice about these. And that is, with augmented field drives, you can kind of get away with a lot of things 
Uh, the only issue is, with the Doom, its speed is 8 by default. So, unless we're going to put augmented fuel drives on this, which we can't really afford to do, uh, our fleet is pretty much always at 8. So that means we can get rid of that. And we can put other things on this. So we have fuel, cargo, we might as well put additional, additional birthing on these. In hindsight, I think the unstable injector is probably not worth building in. Instead, for these supply ships, um, I don't know, because once we get uh, personnel ships, we'll probably go with more additional birthing. But it, it kind of just is what it is. These don't have weapons on them, so there's no point in giving them anything that... There's really no point in giving them anything that is going to... Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. You know what sick person is trying to say. <laughs> or at least I assume you do. Alright, so we don't need this. What do we need? I'm going to put that here. Why not? As you can see, you can really tell what everything is. Okay, looks good. What the? Oh, it's because we have it off. It's because I'm on there, technically. That's why it's slower. <clears throat> okay, well. Let's take all of that off. <coughs> Yes, that's what we want. If you're wondering <clears throat> why I have uh, 900 story points, I got si so with the phase fleet, you really, really need to be investing heavily in pretty much everything. So, like, we would need to invest in these heavily. With phase points, with story points. And I got tired of messing with that entire system, so I just gave myself stuff. It's like, well, on a normal fleet, this is fine. On a phase fleet, this is awful. God awful. It's like how eventually we'll most likely need to install the deployment points or determine fleet size mod so we can have more frigates. Because <clears throat> you really, 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 really don't want phase ships. You don't want the AI flying phase ships. That, uh, well, anything larger than a frigate phase ship. That is just a bad time. But alright, okay. These are all standardized now. That's good. What does this do? Increases fuel produ fuel usage. It's probably worth it to restore these, since they aren't going to see combat. Or they shouldn't see combat. Because then we can get rid of anything that is going to be passively increasing um, our our stuff. And as you can see, I'm so eloquent while sick. <laughs> okay, let's get everything up to snuff with story points where they're supposed to be. Oxes, they don't have anything. I don't think there's anything that they really do either. Cargo capacity is zero. Crew is five, is four. Skeleton crew is two. Okay, what would we even do with these? What's your max speed? 150, 115.
<laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what we could put on there. Um, let's see. Sensor profile is 280. This would half that. So that bring it down to 130. So that's probably what we're going to do. <clears throat> After that, it's just fighter clamps that we can't put fighters on. Okay, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. Now those guys should be useful for us. Right. You. We're going to strip you. We're going to slap that on you. And if I remember correctly, we're doing expanded missile racks, hardened subsystems, reinforced bulkheads. Expanded missile racks, hardened subsystems, reinforced bulkheads. Okay, it's no, it's these. Sounds good. And you are our most interesting type of build. We need expanded magazines, hardened subsystems, unstable injector. If you're wondering, phase anchors and safety overrides cannot be built in. <clears throat> I will demonstrate that right now. Safety overrides, phase anchor. Not allowed. So let's take those off. And so we wanted... We don't need a backup doom and... So... Let's outfit you as best we can. Oh, you actually have everything that we need. <clears throat> That's good. Let's go outfit our afflictors since those are the real killers. I mean, that, that kind of works, I guess. Let's make a variation here. Eh, whatever. It, it's fine. You don't have anything, really, that will work there particularly well, so the missiles it is. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. So, you. We have expanded magazines, hardened systems, and an stable injector. Expanded magazines. Hardened subsystems. Unstable injector. One, two, three. Good. Followed by... Wow. You're amazing. We'll say that. <laughs> we're going to put you there, and we're going to put that there. I mean, I guess that works. Alright, so, that does the trick. However, let's put this away. Everything else we can take. Our fleet is slowly growing. Let's put all of that away. We need to dump some of those off. Uh, we don't need that many crew, actually. We must have double our requirement. Oops. We don't need to put the crew in here. So let's put that crew away. Let's go up to 600 crew. And that should work. All right. Where are we going first? 
Port Say once that's we are gonna sell these off. So Tibicina wants those Umbra is on the way, so we can go to Umbra first. And then we will go to Tibicina. But we're gonna go take a lake forest first. All right, we are back. We're almost to cats. <clears throat> okay, let's go make some cash. Yeah, it's right there. We'll just fly over. It is the seventeenth, so we shouldn't have any problems. Getting everything taken care of. Now, Scone, now, um, Umbra is on the other side of a Scone now. We have a big enough fleet to where we can probably just jump in on it and be okay. Cool. Sell those. Sell these. They're still selling them. Eh, not a good profit anymore. We'll sell that, we'll sell... Th oh my goodness. Well, we need like a hundred supplies. 
Okay, well, let's do that. Um, we need to go over fleets, suspend all repairs, transverse jump over to Nova Maxios. <clears throat> And everything should be fine. We will be able to get in before anything bad happens. Keep that transponder off. The independents don't really care. Let's see. Transverse jumping doesn't really do much damage to your fleet, but it can add up after a while. Let's take all their supplies. Well, let's go until it starts costing me more than what it would cost us to withdraw. Which is right there. We'll take that. We'll take all of these. We'll take their fuel. It's slightly below cost. Have anything that I want, friendos? No. No and... No. Okay. Sounds good. <clears throat> let's repair our stuff and let's head over to the Sina. So yeah, heading over to Sibacina, that will allow us to get a nice amount of cash. Alright, they're attacking DT. That's fine. Oh, they were satisfied. Damn. They do want more drugs, but not for a good price. Mazalo wants those. Yeah, we've, we've made a nice amount of cash. Let's go to the black market, buy all of their supplies. And fuel, because why not? Alright, you got any weapons that I want? Doesn't look like it, doesn't look like it, any ships? You have an afflictor. I'll take your I'll take your hand take that off your hands. You got a phase ship, we'll steal that too. All right. <clears throat> These two. Let's put them at the bottom, at the back of their groups. I'll put you there. And you, I'll put you here. <coughs> the pirate versions are kind of subpar. So we'll put them ahead of the pirate variants, but not by much. Now, you. Missile racks, subsystems reinforced. And uh, there we go, I guess. And pretty much the same thing. Cool. Subsystems reinforced. Cool. Now, let's set you to uh, one of those. I guess it doesn't matter either way. Alright. <clears throat> Got any officers I can hire? What do you do? Polarized armor. Disgusting. Okay, we only need one more ship to fill out our entire system. That will most likely be the Ziggurat once we get there. But before we can get to the Ziggurats, we need to one, pay ourselves, and then two, get everything else sort of squared away. Now we could use all this money to pay our bills. That would work. But I'm gonna hang out over here. Okay, all of our bills have been paid, so we don't have to worry about that. Everything is just pure profit at this point. No, 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 no. Let's go to here, and what can I do? Oh yeah, I need to assume control. Secretary? Assume control for just a moment. This is going to be a high command. This will become heavy batteries. 
and then we'll make this a star fortress and this and Charaxi will become a hard point <clears throat> for the entire system. When um, Protachion turns on us, we will probably just take all their stuff in the sector. And then we'll see how that goes. All right, so what do we got here? Colony threats, Maxios, the Hivers are invading. Fairly strong, superior, evenly matched. Okay. Then we have, there's a fleet log, there's the scoreboard. The Hivers are still doing amazingly. Tritachion, with our help, is starting to do better. No one's close to winning a population victory like we did last time. No one's looking, no one's gonna have a diplomatic victory anytime soon so yeah everything is still in the running milestone trackers the deeds of heroic the deeds of the heroic shall be remembered encounter the remnants in battle defeat a deadly pirate to defeat a deadly face ship a very specific one defeat a remnant nexus defeat a mysterious angular foe oh, the a team have eight officers a level five or higher we're getting there survey a hundred planets Found your first colony. We already did that. Um, beat elite beat agents. Get an agent to level five and gun barrel sequence. Complete fifteen agent actions with non guaranteed success. Okay, sounds good. Udik. <clears throat> so we might as well just hang out until the hive is arrived and then those guys are after Maxios so we will just kill them when they show up now they will most likely go around so they're after the heavy industry that's what's going on here we have a patrol HQ we have ground defenses it is an invasion force so you know there is a degree of stuff going on here <clears throat> We should probably buy all of Maxios, Nova Maxios' stuff and then sell it to the Conta's Den if we can. But you know, it is what it is. We just need to wait for these dudes to show up. We're engaging the Conta's Den, you say? Colony threats. What are we looking at? Seven days. We could just go defeat the Contest Den. That is something we can do. We don't have any Marines, though. It's a battle station, but it's not the most dangerous thing ever. Let's see, what do you guys need? So you'll buy supplies for 173, 137. You'll buy fuel for slightly above profit. <clears throat> okay. Let's head over to Maxios. Get a Star Fortress, well, get an orbital station going on Maxios. And do you have anything that I can take from you? Yeah, you got 600 supplies. That's good. We'll take that. We will then get an orbital station going on you. <coughs> and that should be fine. It won't finish by the time they get here, but you know, it'll be fine. <clears throat> All right. There, the dirty hivers. They arrive in two days. Then they scream and explode.
Okay, invasion of Maxios. They have arrived. It means most of our stuff is going to come over to us. Yep, kept it They expanded. Nice. It'll be good to take those from them. To take Kapadeish. Oh, nice fleet you got there. I'll take it. Okay. Let's throw our entire fleet in. Okay. I want you guys to go to that one. I want you guys to go over here. And then you guys to flink over there. I'm going to have you go over here. As long as I can sit in my doom, we'll be okay. And these guys don't really know the plan, so they're kind of just going to do their thing. And then we'll see where things go from there. Okay, you guys. Go over here. Okay, time to send you in. <clears throat> However, I want you to just go here. And just hold your space. Hold your position. Alright guys, you go there, over there. And I think it is our bad time to pull the salt. Let's jump into the doom. Okay, let's set the peel out to auto fire. They have a lot of little phase ships there. Die. Okay, so we are descending upon their fleet from the back. Very nice. Well, let's have your missiles come right back over here, and now we're going to just completely bypass them. <clears throat> we're going to let our fleet slam into the back of them first, though. Man, those missiles stick around forever. Are they supposed to be the equivalent of Pila, or are they just overpowered harpoons or something? They might just be overpowered harpoons. Okay, it's time for us to go in, because they are starting to kill our stuff. This looks like a great little thing here. Oof. You are indeed made of paper. I think those are super harpoons. I think that's what those are.
Okay, we need to take care of their fighters. Just enough. <laughs> Got it. Okay, well, we are slowly cleaning them up. <clears throat> they have their version of the Sunder over there. We got these guys over here doing their things. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah, those, those ships, some of their ships seem to be really powerful, but other ones seem to be made of paper. Which is kind of weird. But, you know, it is what it is. They have their super harpoons that are overpowered. Or maybe they're supposed to be Pila, like the equivalent of a Pila. I'm not sure. Okay, where's the rest of their fleet? It's over to the right. <clears throat> Hello, equivalent of a Harbinger. How's it going? No, no. Oh, is he going to get around it? He is. If a ship's being surrounded isn't a big deal, it's just whoever t tends to come out of phase space first is the one who dies. Alright, there we go. It was an invasion force, so they are likely going to engage with their other fleet as well. Let's harry their retreat. Let's get our stuff back. I don't know. Their stuff's kind of weird. All right, let's get all our. Let's take all their stuff. Let's scavenge as well. Um, standard drone tender. We don't want that, but we will take everything else. Okay, well, the, the cartel should be able to take care of that, yeah. <clears throat> the invasion has failed. Now we're just hunting down everybody else who's left. Good. <laughs> okay, invasion, Zen prototype. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a standard tanker. We don't want that. We'll take everything out of it, but uh, we don't want the weird hyro ships. Okay, so you're on the way. Now we need to go to DT and protect that. Over Mayasura. Now, the nice part about DT is that it is very well protected. Um, we were able to sort of build the stuff that we needed to build. 
Now we kind of need to just go and get a lot of uh, supplies would be nice. All right, so we have any blueprints to make. We could make eyes. We just make lots and lots of eyes. I would need to like figure out what weapons are best to outfit and eyes with before we do that. Until we do that, we kind of don't want to. We kind of don't want to leave. Um, all right. Action, Tritachion, held by Hyper. So, we made a little bit of money. We, we made... Yeah, a little bit less than that. Administrators in use. Just uh, one of our dudes who's currently making us money. Hmm. No one, unfortunately. We do have enough money to potentially do something on DT. Let's find out what we can do. Can we throw ground defenses on that? We can. Let's do that. Then. This will require 300, I think. 450 to get that on there. We can't quite do that yet. Yeah, hopefully everything will work out quite nicely. We're targeting that. 40 days. Hopefully not, and nights. All I remember is that that was a movie. I don't remember anything else about it. Okay, let's go to his Brazil. We're going to head over to Ogma, pick up lots and lots of supplies, and sell those lots and lots of supplies. Is there a bounty in Mysura? No. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go get lots of supplies and then trade those supplies at Umbra for a healthy profit. <clears throat> Alright, let's put all these in storage. We'll take those. Who wants? Not for the price I want. Umbra wants 400 of these, that's good. Number one, 600 of these. That's good. We only want 150 out of these for ourselves. We need 600 crew again. We lost some in fights. Number wants this, and number really, really, really wants those. So they want 3,000. We can take a little bit more than 3,000. Let's drop the metals off. What else does Umbra want? Does Umbra want drugs? Now, put the drugs in here until someone really, really wants them. Until they tell me what they want, what they really, really want. And, uh, yeah, what else does Umbra want? We could go to Gar Garner? Yeah, we could go to Garner. It's only 200, though. But it is 200 where we are doubling our cash. But by the time we get there, more than likely, we'll be needing to make a beeline to DT to defend that. So, the umber we get. It's off on the side. Let's do this and make some cash, shall we? Oh, good. There's the. There it is. So, let's jump in. Go dark. Trade with Umbra. Awesome. Amazing. Wonderful. Amazing. Cool. We have a million credits. Excellent. We'll hire all of those guys. We'll hire all the crew since they're dirt chicken. Eh. 
How are the Marines? They don't have any weapons that I want. Hire the rest of their Marines for below cost. Yeah, slightly above cost, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Now they make ore. Yeah. Alright, now we'll hire the rest of their crew. What do you guys make that I want? Eight isn't a great price. Considering that I can get it for cheaper elsewhere. <clears throat> I guess I'll take their Reapers. They do not have a fuel shortage, but I can get fuel cheaper from Eventide. So we'll probably do that. So now as long as they don't cause me a problem, I won't kill them. But, let's go back to Ogma. We are going to make Ogma a capital, a uh, star fortress. And that will pretty much make it to where Ogma should be near impenetrable. Not quite entirely, but near. Okay. Star fortress done. Cool. So now Ogma should be should, Ogma should be sitting pretty, essentially. Okay. <laughs> we get so much money trading with the pirates and the and the um the Pathers. <laughs> okay. 180 days from now this will be operational and basically we will be extremely friggin' dangerous. That's good, we need that. <clears throat> Let's drop those off. Maggie's over there wants that garner wants 150 of these. How long until the hivers arrive? 27 days. Then we'll have some change afterwards where they're kind of just screwing around. Two hundred, four hundred, not great. I mean, we can still do it, so we'll take six hundred of those. Does Garner also want this? No. What else does Garner want that we have? Garner wants a lot of those. Garner wants a lot of these. So if we take 300, I mean 3,000 supplies, we should be sitting pretty. Um, Elm wants those, and I think we are going to Elm as well, yes. So Elm, you want 600 of those. I can make that happen. Okay, and the rest we'll just take in supplies. Excellent. Let's drop off the crew, let's only take 600 with us. And let's head to Garner to sell a bunch of stuff. And then we will head to Ilm to sell a bunch more stuff. Garner is in Corvus, right? Yeah. All right, speed is of the essence. So let's go. 